Gaming Geek here, coming at you with another video. This is another three year retrospective from the time that I made this uh, gaming table back in November of 2015. And I'm just taking a look back. I did a video recently about the top five changes I would make if I were to uh, do this table over again. And if you wanna see that, just click right here and that will take you to that video. But with this video, what I wanna do is talk about the top five most awesome things that I've enjoyed uh, in the past three years, putting in over thousands of hours of gaming, the things that I've really appreciated about this table. So this is the top five that I'm gonna go through now. Also, if you have never seen the original video that started all of this, uh, you can also click here for the very first a DIY instructional uh, tutorial video that I made back then. So uh, here's my top five. The number one thing that has been the most awesome with building this table has been the community that has sprouted up from it. This is the BGG uh, forum where I posted about the gaming table and it ended up being a great place where a bunch of people tackled uh, the making their own tables and a huge variation of what they did. Now I do apologize um, since I posted all of my pictures that I put in here was from Photo Bucket and they decided to charge um, and so I didn't go back and bother since everything was in the video anyway. But this is a great resource for um, everyone and I learned a lot from other folks who are a lot better carpenter or electricians than I am and so if you have any questions you definitely want to go here. I'll put the link down in the description below. But uh, you'll see a bunch of different projects and people who made tables. This person uh, just put in, neo a ton of people put neoprene in the well of their table and LED lights that changes colors around the edges, which I think is so awesome. Uh, here we have a glass topper. This is a builder from uh, Berlin. And I think this is cool. Uh, the design of this table is uh, really clean. And having a glass topper, I think, uh, is perfect uh, for something like this. And so I think that looks really cool. Uh, and then a lot of people converted the table, dimensions of the table, to make it a, a longer. And so um, this is a, a builder who uh, built this a little bit narrower and, and, and longer. Uh, to accommodate more games since a lot of people didn't put the TV insert in the middle. And a lot of folks just put uh, great design uh, and aesthetics because for some of them this is their dining room table. And so I think this topper looks really clean and classy and fits some of the um, design in the rest of their dining room. And so uh, people did an awesome job. And so the community that really emerged, I think, has been a lot of fun engaging with people, answering questions. And there's nothing more satisfying for me than to see a lot of people utilizing the plans that I've made uh, to make their own creations, to be creative, to do things. Uh, a number of folks who have never built anything before. And this is their first project and the sense of satisfaction that they get in not only having a gaming table that they can uh, invite friends and family uh, over, but to be able to really um, have fun playing games, which just gladdens my heart to no end. And that was the whole purpose for why I wanted to post that, those designs. So kudos to everyone who uh, dived in and uh, really uh, made an attempt at building for the first time and how great that their tables turned out. So that is the number one most exciting thing and awesome thing uh, about this project. The second most awesome thing about this table has been the digital maps for Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. In the past three years, I've played through a lot of the published campaigns and the maps in there are pretty complicated and so having a digital option has been fantastic. We've probably put in over a thousand hours uh, on this TV screen and a number of people have asked a question about whether or not uh, it's bad for the TV to be uh, laid flat like this, but I've had no problems with this TV. It's going strong uh, and the resolution is fantastic. And so my players have really enjoyed having this digital screen because it really highlights the gameplay for the game. 
We've gone through Curse of Strahd, Princess of, of the Apocalypse, Lost Minds of Fandelver, uh, Tales of the Yawning Portal, and I would say uh, just even the Doom Vault that's found in Tales of the Yawning Portal, which is what's being shown here. Um, that dungeon is massive, and it's very hard to recreate caverns like this with irregular walls with a 3D dungeon set. And so, or even drawing it on a map yourself. And so having this digital option has been fantastic. I've gone ahead and gone onto Mike Schley's um, website. He's the one who uh, produced and made all of these maps and you can buy them for digital download for not that much. And I purchased uh, all the ones that were available. Uh, I have heard recently with uh, more uh, Waterdeep campaigns that the maps aren't as colorful, but I think they did that intentionally so that you could recreate it with um, your 3D uh, dungeons, which I will probably do. The third most awesome thing about this table actually has nothing to do with gaming or very little to do with gaming, but more has to do with the fact that we have a huge table. And so for our family, we actually do have a dedicated dining room table in the dining room, but um, my wife keeps it pretty clean and doesn't necessarily want a lot of projects uh, on there. And so not only has this table provided space for us to be able to play our games, but it's become sort of our um, utilitarian table where we can uh, do things like uh, my daughter does puzzles here and she builds her Legos. Um, I actually use the outlets to charge all of my electronics uh, in addition to the hobby aspect of gaming, which is um, putting together miniatures or scenery like this and painting them. Uh, or even over Christmas, this is a great table just to wrap presents. And so uh, I've been surprised at how much uh, other utility we have had uh, by having just a large table available to us. I've also done most of my cosplay projects on this table. I'll get the sewing machine out and set it up here. And I'm able to just leave stuff here uh, as I'm working through my projects, whereas if I had it in the dining room table, I'd have to break everything down and put everything away. Uh, but this table just affords a lot of real estate to be able to work on other projects. And it's been really fun to do that with the family as well. The fourth awesome thing about this project has been hosting my friends. And so having a table like this makes it so that my place is now the default place for our game nights. And I really like hosting people and providing food, drinks, and making them comfortable and doing one of our favorite things, which is to play games. And so all of the little things that make that experience even better, I think adds up to my enjoyment of having people over and having a fun evening together. Uh, having these cup holders, I think, are awesome. And the fact that they're removable is even better because I can just throw them into the dishwasher to clean. This whole table actually is really easy to clean uh, because of these um, inserts are really easy to vacuum. This is just foam. And so uh, giving this a one over with the vacuum makes it really easy to clean. I can wipe it down. Um, because gamers can be slobs and, and drop food and chips and all that kind of stuff, but it's very easy to clean. And so it makes the whole practice of hospitality really fun. And actually one of my favorite features out of this whole thing, uh, and including some of my friends, has been the bottle opener. And so this actually is, for some reason, I just love this thing. Um, being able to open these and uh, we use it quite a bit actually during our gaming sessions. And so that's one of the features that uh, I really like having these dice trays uh, to hold pencils. I have seen some people cut a groove in here so that they can place their cards right in there. And I think that's a great feature. Uh, I wish I would have done that. But overall, all the little things, even having these um, outlets for people to be able to charge their phones or electronics, all of those little things add up to just making something that we all love together, which is to play games and just spend time um, that much more fun and that much more exciting. And so I just love practicing hospitality that way. The last on my list of top five awesome things that I've experienced with this table is actually people being amazed that I built the table. Uh, there's nothing more satisfying than creating something with your own hands and being able to say, yeah, I really made that. And people uh, really appreciating and sort of 
being amazed that a quality piece of furniture like this can be handmade. Of course, you can go out and buy a lot of good tables, but the fact that you're making something with your own hands and being able to enjoy it and seeing family and friends around the table having fun playing games, I think that is uh, one of the more satisfying things out of life. Uh, people's appreciation of what you've done, that you've made something out of your own hands that you can sort of boast and say, hey, yeah, I made this. And uh, having uh, kudos from family and friends uh, saying that you did a great job, that's super satisfying. So I hope you enjoyed this video outlining some of the um, great features of having had this table. If you've built this table, uh, what are some of the things that you've really enjoyed and has contributed to awesomeness in your own life? Go ahead and post that in comments below. And as always, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a lot. So happy gaming. We'll talk to you later.